Welcome to today's edition of Layoff and Employment News by Employment Boost. Today's date is Friday, June 9th, 2023. If you are an individual affected by a layoff or if you are a company facing a reduction in force, click the link above now or in the description box below for more information about our firm's outplacement support services and how we can help you as an individual land on your feet faster and get into a new job as quickly as possible or as an organization, how we can smooth the layoff process and assist with your reduction in force. Now on to today's headlines. The Labor Department reported that last week, the number of Americans applying for unemployment benefits rose to its highest level since October 2021 with 261,000 jobless claims. U.S. employers did add 339,000 jobs in the month of March of May, but unemployment rose to 3.7%, and there are some warning signs that the job market is not as good as it has been over the past couple of years. Seattle's Children's Hospital is laying off 135 employees, or 1.5% of their workforce, due to the financial impacts from the pandemic, inflation, and un- economic uncertainty, per a spokesperson. Seattle's Children serves patients from Washington, Alaska, Montana, and Idaho, or much of the northwest of the United States, but revenue is still not keeping up with escalating costs. Hopefully, the patient care remains strong, even with staff cuts. CityBlock Health, a tech-driven, value-based provider of medical care, behavioral care, and social services to Medicaid and lower-income Medicare patients, is laying off 155 employees, or 12% of its workforce. CEO Toyin Ajayi said the business needs to right-size as the company enters its next phase of growth, with an organizational restructuring as part of the deal. Impacted staff will receive severance, extended medical insurance through COBRA, mental health support, mental health support, and job transition and outplacement support. Finally, software as a service firm Freshworks is undergoing its third round of layoffs since December of last year, this time targeting more senior level employees across product engineering and go-to-market teams in the U.S. Freshworks is trying to optimize its operations and maintain profitability while dealing with low demand growth.